Dr. Norm Coleman's patient-focused career in oncology spans more than four decades, crisscrossing the country and the globe, leaving an indelible impact on the cancer community across the world. He embodies multidisciplinary cancer care with board certifications in internal medicine, medical oncology, and radiation oncology. As a tenured faculty member in medical and radiation oncology at Stanford, and as professor and chair of the Joint Center for Radiation Therapy at Harvard Medical School, where he developed a program that brought medical students and faculty to work in underserved communities outside of Boston, he is always focused on bringing the best in quality and innovative care to all patients. Currently, he heads an NCI lab while also serving as a founding member and as the Senior Scientific Advisor for the International Cancer Expert Corps, an organization that mentors cancer professionals in low- and middle-income countries and indigenous populations in upper-income countries to help improve the quality of cancer care globally. He also serves as the Senior Medical Advisor to the Office of the Assistant Secretary of Preparedness and Response at HHS, designing a framework enabling the country to be better prepared to prevent, detect, and respond to any chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats, as well as from pandemic influenza and emerging infectious diseases. Very early on in our training at Stanford, I realized that he had just a very sincere empathetic manner with patients and yet could still see that there was need to improve the treatment that we were able to offer patients at that time. And I think he's carried that on uh, in later years having, especially at NCI, a laboratory, a basic science laboratory in addition to directing the research to improve patient care uh, in all areas of radiation sciences. Throughout his career, he has balanced the latest and in innovative care while connecting deeply with patients. Patients like Pete Daly, who saw Dr. Coleman when he found out his melanoma had spread to his brain. When I walked into his office, there was his portrait finishing the Iron Man. And uh, just previous to that, I had finished an Iron Man. And that really connected us together and it connected him to my goals. I wanted to get through this bout of cancer, but I wanted to reach out and do the next Iron Man. I wasn't into the mode of just limping by. I was ready to, you know, truly survive, and he connected with me and that goal uh, immediately. He said, when this is done, let's do Wisconsin Iron Man together and uh, make it happen. I guess the initial ins inspiration was, let's talk human to human here. Let's share some interests, let's connect. Let's not panic over this news. And just that alone was inspirational. Well, here I am today, and it's 16 years later. Uh, it was a multi-mode treatment, uh, but in the end, uh, now I'm with no evidence of disease and uh, thriving. He's able to think of things in a way that many of us can't imagine. And knowing that time is finite presses him to do as much as he can with the time that he has available to him. Because of his energy and excitement about what he's doing, uh, you want to do more. He brings out the best in anybody and everybody, which I think is very similar to what Ellen did with most people. He truly believes that anything is possible. I think with the arrival of his new grandson, Orion, Norm is even more inspired to continue his work, uh, recognizing the potential to help the generations to come. <laughs>